We're just days from the first Notre Dame home season, home game of the season, and local businesses are getting ready for all the crowds. WSBT 22's Heather Black is at the live desk right now. And Heather, there's a lot of excitement for the team's potential. Businesses certainly getting ready for all the fans. For many businesses, home game weekends for Notre Dame are the biggest days of the year. Many restaurants, bars, and hotels hire extra workers to make sure visitors remember their stay. I spoke with a local business owner who's stocking products to the ceiling to prepare for this weekend. This is Fans like these will be filling the stands at Notre Dame Stadium this Saturday cheering for their team. But before fans come into town, business owners are working overtime to make sure the opening home weekend is one to remember. Gary Gardner with Belmont Beverages in South Bend says they're expecting a huge crowd. It starts very early in the morning. Uh, they start to fill up around traffic everywhere, foot traffic as well as uh, vehicle traffic. Uh, business here is just non-stop until kickoff. During game weekends, Belmont makes sure extra hands are on staff. They also hire a few people to watch the parking lot. Because you know, a lot of folks like to come here and just go to the game or go somewhere else. And obviously we don't mind if somebody meets and passes tickets and swaps tickets for five or 10 minutes. That's one thing, but people want to park and just disappear. Lindsay Horner from Visit South Bend and Mishawaka says Belmont isn't the only business expecting a large crowd. Hotel rates are always way up and occupancy is way up because people are um, coming in to see their teams, um, whether they're the visiting team or Notre Dame fans. The university released a study earlier this year estimating spending at $14.5 million each home game weekend. Tourism is kind of this sort of hidden market that people don't necessarily think about all the time, but when you see a number like that, it goes to show what a huge industry it is for our community. I also spoke with Jeff Ray at the Chamber of Commerce. He described this weekend as the Black Friday for many businesses. But he says local businesses don't just rely on football weekends. Ray says the university also attracts visitors throughout the year for other events. But football does remain one of the biggest draws. At the live desk, Heather Black, WSBT 22 News. It is going to be a busy weekend. I've yes, seen a lot of Notre Dame fans, obviously. I haven't seen any Texas fans In yet. Town, Have you? Yeah. No, I haven't seen any. They're going to be coming soon, yes, though. Yes, they will. It's going to be here, yeah. Well, it's been